Hello everyone! In this video I would like to review floating static roads configuration example. So let's get started. There can be situations when a primary road fails due to physical layer problems, hardware issues or many other reasons. To solve this problem a floating static road can be used as a backup road when there is a secondary pass available. By default the administrative distance of static road is 1. But it can be configured with a value of 1 to 25 to make the road less desirable than that of another static road or a loan through dynamic routing protocol. In this case, floating static road can be used only when the road with the better administrative distance fails, giving possibility for static road to take over and to send traffic to this alternate road. Floating static road is not present in the routing table unless the preferred road fails. IPv4 floating static roads are configured with the IP road global configuration mode command and specify administrative distance. So let's configure static routes. For this example, I'm going to use topology where I have three routers. I've pre configured already all IP addresses and loopback interfaces, so I can focus only on configuring IP routes. And I'm going to configure. Um, floating static routes for R1 to reach network 10.1.23.0 uh, through R2 and through R3 uh, routers. In case a uh, link through R2 fails, it should go through R3. So let's go and check. Show IP interface brief. We can see uh, IPs are configured interfaces up. Show IP route. In our routing table, we have only local, uh, locally connected uh, networks. Conf T IP route. So first is gonna go to ten one twenty three zero two five five two five five two five five two five two. Our subnet, which I have to reach. Um, uh, in primary case through G02 interface and next hop 10 1 12 uh, 2 uh, route and in case this route fails I should reach it through a G03 interface and next hop address 10 1 13 uh, 2 with administrative distance 10. First one has uh, admi default administrative distance which is um, distance which is 1 and IP route to reach 192.168.3.0.255.255.255 uh, G0 3 interface um, then one thirteen two and uh, loop back subnet two through G zero two uh ten one twelve uh, two and let's check uh, show IP route we can see now we have uh, static route installed in routing table to network one, uh, 10 123 through G02 interface and next hop 10 112 2 and this one has um, administrative distance 1 which is default so uh, floating static route is not installed in um, IP or, or in routing table unless primary road static road fails and we have also static routes to uh, loopback subnets. Let's go to router 2, IP route uh, 10.1.13.0.255.255.255.252. This should go, let's say, through G03 interface. Next hop 1.10.1.23.1. And IP route to one nine two to one nine two one six eight 
3 as well and then 1231 one. IP route 1192168 show IP route show IP route our static routes installed in routing table and let's go to the last switch uh, router sorry conf t ip route e it should have route to 10 1 12 0 through let's say g0 1 and next hop 10 1 13 1 and IP route 192.168.10.255.255.255.0G0.110.113.1 and IP route 192.168.20.255.255.255.0 it goes through G0 interface I next hope 10 1 23 2 show IP route uh, only these two conf t then one twelve zero to value G zero one ten one thirteen one to show IP route where is our route show to show IP interface brief and we can see that our interface is down interface G zero one so we don't have uh, this road static road because this interface is down interface g01 no shot and now it should appear in our routing table show ip route uh, yes okay let's check ping one nine two one six eight one one successful two one successful and ping ten one twelve one successful so let's go to our router one where we have our floating routes ping one nine two one six eight three one success to one success and ping then uh, one twenty three two successful let's trace uh, and see if it's going as it is supposed to go through g01 um, g02 sorry uh, interface trace road then one twenty three two tracing road two and let's wait a little bit it takes some time to think 10 1 23 2 so we're gonna trace to this uh, ip of r2 and as you can see it goes through 10 1 12 2 as it is uh, configured in our routing show ip route Next hop ten one twelve two, and it is ten one twelve two, and now let's uh, say our interface uh, G zero two fails. G zero two, shut. We should see uh, our floating static road in a routing table. Show IP route, 
and you can see that is 10 123 we are 10 113 2 g02 d03 interface so now it goes through this let's see trace road 10 1 23 2 let's wait a little bit and it, we should see this uh, next hop this IP address 10 1 13 2 if everything is done correctly 10 1 13 2 10 1 23 2 10 1 23 2 so we reached our um, IP address which uh, I pinged on this uh, router so as you can see when uh, static road primary uh, static road fails uh, floating st uh, static road took over uh, interface G02 no uh, let's uh, do show IP inter uh, show IP road for now we have uh, this uh, floating static road with administrative distance 10 and now we now do no shot to bring it back and double check and now we should have interface with uh, road through uh, G02 interface the other thing if we configure a both uh, IP roads with the same administrative distance for example by default uh, show IP route uh, show run mm, IP route so if I change uh, this static road to just um, with default with default administrative distance it's gonna do uh, it's gonna install two static roads into routing table and do some kind of load balance let's just check paste control and show IP route and as you can see now we have two static routes installed in our table but uh, routing table but it's not um, floating static road we have a kind of load balance uh, we have two uh, and the uh, same administrative distance for these two routes trace route 10 1 23 2 let's see what we have so next hope is gonna be ten one twelve two so this is this one and next is 13 two. so it goes to one direction or to another one so that's all what i wanted to show about uh, floating static routes thank you very much for your attention at this point i would like to say thank you for watching my video i hope you liked it Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you success in your studying and I hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao!